Mm. Hi, I'm David from the Ontario Science Centre. Humans can be pretty loud. We make all sorts of sounds. We clap. We sing. We, you know. But we're not the only noisy animals. Today I want to learn more about the sounds that animals make, how they make them, and what animals are saying to each other. Most animals make sounds. Cows moo, dogs bark, and snakes hiss. But some animals are a lot louder than others. Have you ever heard this noise outside in the summertime? Those loud buzzing sounds are made by these tiny insects. This is a cicada. Cicadas are about the same size as a loony, but they can make sounds up to 100 decibels. That's as loud as a motorcycle. Cicadas spend most of their lives underground, where they feed on plant roots. Some cicadas stay in the ground for 17 years. They might be even older than you are. In the summertime, the older cicadas come out of the ground, spread their wings, and search for a mate. But they have to look fast. Once cicadas leave the ground, they only live for a few weeks. That's why they buzz so loudly. Male cicadas make their sound to attract as many females as they can. But how does such a tiny insect make such a loud sound? Sounds, whether they're from a cicada or a guitar, are just vibrations that travel through the air and into our ears. When you pluck a guitar string, it starts to vibrate, and that makes a sound. For cicadas, it's this special organ behind their wing, called a timbre, that vibrates. The timbre works kind of like the bendy part of a bendy straw. They use their muscles to push and pull their timbre, and each time you can hear a little click. But they do this really fast. A cicada can push and pull its timbre more than a hundred times a second. That's why all these little clicks sound like a really loud buzz. You can try making cicada sounds at home if you have a bendy straw, or a tube like this. See how many clicks you can make in five seconds. Hmm, I wonder what else we could use to make a buzzing sound. I tried making my own kazoo with a toilet paper roll, an elastic, and a piece of wax paper. It makes a pretty good buzzing sound. <laughs> See what you can come up with. Hey, welcome to my blanket fort. All of those cicada sounds are getting pretty loud, so I thought I'd come somewhere quiet to talk about sounds that people can't even hear. Elephants can hear really low pitches, too low for our human ears. On the other hand, dogs can hear sounds way higher than we can. This is a dog whistle. They make a high-pitched sound, including some sounds that humans can't even hear. To us, it's not that loud. But to a dog, it can be pretty annoying. Bats, like Canada's big brown bat, also make sounds that we can't hear, and they use them in a really cool way. Bats are nocturnal, which means they're most active at night. And because it's so dark, they use their ears more than their eyes to know where they're going. Think about what you'd do if you couldn't see. You'd have to use your other senses. You could feel your way around, follow your nose, or listen for sounds. That's what bats do. They use their incredible hearing to find their way around in the dark. As they fly, bats make short, high-pitched sounds. These sounds are normally too high for a human to hear, but here's what they sound like through a special machine called a bat detector. These sound waves travel through the air, and when they hit something, the sound bounces back towards the bat's ears. They listen for these sounds to figure out what's around them. When sound bounces off of an object and then comes back to you, we call it an echo. Echo! You can hear echoes for yourself if you have a bowl or a bucket, and you speak into it like this. Here's a fun experiment to try at home. 
Cover your eyes and have somebody else hold the bowl. Can you find it using echoes? Echo, 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 echo. Oh, right here. Yeah, you got it. Making sounds and then listening for the echoes is called echolocation. And bats aren't even the only animals that do it. Whales, dolphins, and shrews can all echolocate. Even some people have taught themselves how to do it too. Most of the sounds humans make are for communication. Babies will cry to say that they're hungry. We clap if we want to tell someone they did a good job. And we call a person's name to get their attention. Animals make sounds to communicate too. Think about birds. You've probably heard all kinds of birds before, but have you ever wondered what they're saying? This bird is a black-capped chickadee. Listen to its sound and see if you can figure out why it's called a chickadee. Chickadees make this sound to warn each other about potential predators. They can even tell each other how dangerous the predator is. They add more Ds the more scared they are. So for a human, they might use a couple Ds. Chickadee dee. But for something like a hawk, they'll add a lot more. Chickadee dee 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 dee. They say other things too. This is the song that chickadees make when they're looking for a mate. Every bird has its own sounds. It's kind of like their own language. Let's see if we can translate some bird sounds into human words, just like we did for the chickadee. I will show you a picture of a bird and play you its sound, and you write down what you think it's saying. Ready? All right, let's try this one. What does it sound like it's saying? How about this one? Here is bird number two. Okay, let's do one more. Here's the last bird. Now you've heard the sounds of three different birds. Try playing the sounds for somebody else and see if they came up with the same words that you did. I always have fun learning bird songs and calls, but we'll have to head outside to hear them in their natural habitat. It's amazing how much you can hear when you really listen. I can hear the crickets chirping, some traffic on the street nearby, and the wind rustling through the trees. Some of the sounds you'll hear are natural, like cicadas, or the wind, or some bird calls. Others are artificial, meaning they're created by human machines. That could be traffic on the highway, or your neighbor mowing their lawn. When we think of pollution, we normally think about garbage or air pollution from cars, but there's also noise pollution. Unfortunately, all of the artificial noise from humans can be bad for animals and their habitat. Remember that chickadees use their calls to warn each other about predators. What do you think would happen if it was too loud for them to hear? Noise pollution is definitely a problem, but there's a lot that you can do to help. Walking or riding your bike is a lot quieter than driving. And you can use an indoor voice, even when you're outside, so you can hear the wonderful sounds of nature. Today, we learned about all sorts of animals and their sounds. Cicadas buzz by vibrating their timbles. Bats use echolocation to find their way around in the dark. And birds use their calls to communicate with each other. I hope you had as much fun as I did. But why stop now? Check out the link in the video description for more experiments that you can try at home. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> that wasn't me.